Okay, in this video we're going to do um, some double integrals where we get to pick the order of integration. So maybe it's dx dy, maybe it's dy dx. And we'll see um, two different reasons why you would want to maybe uh, choose one over the other. So let's take a look at the first problem. So it's going to be uh, the integral, uh, double integral, of x times 1 plus y squared to the negative 1 half uh, dA, which means we get to pick the order of integration. Uh, where the region is in quadrant 1 bounded by y equals x squared, y equals 4, and x equals 0. So you can kind of see I've drawn the region. Um, and so one option is we could um, do what we usually do, which is where we kind of do dy first and then dx. Um, basically, I always try to do that first because for some reason I'd rather end up integrating with respect to x, probably just from years of doing it that way. Um, so we got this ordered pair here is 2, 4, that's the intersection point, because we're going to need that. Um, so our variable bounds um, are going to be for y, so remember y likes to go from bottom to top. So uh, the bottom curve is x squared, and then to 4, so bottom to top, x squared is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 4. And then if we do that, x is going to be um, between 0 and 2. So those would be our bounds, so we can set up the integral. So it's 0 to 2, x squared to 4, um, then we have our integrand, dy, dx. Uh, now there's an issue, though. If you look at that integrand, we would have to integrate x over radical 1 plus y squared dy. Um, so it's not an easy u substitution problem. Um, you can do it. Uh, I think maybe trig substitution is something you'd want to think about in that case. Um, but since we have another choice, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a note here that this integral is hard. Um, and hope that if we reverse the order of integration, it gets easier. So let's take a look. So um, instead of doing dy dx, we're going to try dx dy. So our x values need to, um, or our x bounds need to be variable in some way. So we're going to solve that equation, get x equals radical y. So now our variable bounds are going to go, so remember x likes to go from left to right. So from 0 to radical y. And then y will go from bottom to top, so from 0 to 4. So... Here we go. So now we can rewrite our integral as 0 to 4, 0 to radical y, x over radical 1 plus y squared dx dy. This is a very easy integral to do with respect to x, um, fortunately, because you know the 1 over radical 1 plus y squared is actually just held constant, so it's going to be 1 half x squared and then times that. So let's do that. So 0 to 4, we're going to integrate with respect to x, so it's going to be 1 half x squared and then over that. And then um, x is going to go from 0 to y, uh, radical y. And then finally, we'll integrate again with respect to y. So we're going to plug in. Um, plugging in gives us, uh, actually, I pulled the 1 half out. So it's 1 half. And then uh, radical y squared is just y over 1 plus y squared. When you plug in 0, uh, everything goes away. So we're good with that. Uh, I'm going to move to the other side of the screen here. So integrating. Um, gives us, uh, you actually, I already integrated, but uh, if you make u equal 1 plus y squared, then it's, uh, you need a 2 on the top and a 1 half on the bottom and so on. Um, so things end up like this, basically. Hopefully you can integrate that. Um, so when you plug in 4, uh, you get radical 17. When you plug in 1, you get 1. So our final answer is radical 17 minus 1 all over 2, um, which is uh, we could have gotten it doing it the other way, but the other way is uh, a very hard integral, and this way is not a very hard integral. So that's a case where you'd want to choose one order over the other. Let's take a look at another problem. So say we have the integral of sine of y cubed um, over some region, and we get to choose the order. So the region is radical x, um, y equals radical x, y equals 2, x equals 0. So if we draw that, we get something that looks like this. Okay, so... Here's the issue. I, I actually, um, I don't know how to integrate sine of y cubed with respect to y, um, which if I chose the order dy dx, I would have to do. Um, so since I don't know how to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with dx and hope that it works out. So um, if I'm going to start with dx, x is my variable bound, so I need to solve this equation, get x equals y squared. So my variable bounds uh, from left to right will be from 0 to y squared, and the constant bounds will be from bottom to top, so from uh, 0 to 2 in this case. So I can write my integral, 0 to 2, 0 to y squared, um, sine of y cubed, and then dx dy. 
So I'll integrate first with respect to x, which really just introduces an x, right? Because sine of y cubed is a constant. So I get x times sine of y cubed. And that's from x equals 0 to x equals y squared. And then uh, there should have been a dy there. Oh, my God. Um, so it's the integral I'm plugging in now for uh, x equals y squared, which gives me uh, y squared sine of y cubed. And when I plug in 0, uh, it's 0 times whatever, so it just disappears. So that's dy. And this I can integrate, right? So if I make u equal to y cubed, I would go 3, 1 third. So 1 third, and then the integral of sine is negative cosine. So I'm going to get negative 1 third cosine. I never really know how much to explain with these integrals that we're doing. I mean, if you're in basically calc 3, you probably know how to do these. Um, and now I'm going to plug in 2. And I'm going to plug in 0. Don't get fooled. When you plug in 0, you get cosine of 0, which is actually 1. Um, so it's usually when you plug in 0, everything just goes away, and you kind of don't worry about it. But in this case, we're left with uh, minus a negative 1 third. So our final answer is 1 third minus 1 third cosine of 8, which is kind of a dissatisfying answer because I don't really have a sense of what that is. Um, but anyway, that's how you would do it. So sometimes you do need to pick a different order of uh, integration, either to make it a lot easier on yourself or because you just can't do it without doing that. So two examples of that. hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.